I'm Lydia Cornell coming up next on Herbie Pilato's Now and Then. Herbie J. Herbie J. I'm Lydia Cornell. I got his name wrong. I'm not going to do that. My best friend. Very <laughs> funny. <laughs> I'm Lydia Cornell coming up next on Herbie J. Pilato's Now and Then. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really being good. That was good. There we go. Did you catch that? You want soup, you go to the end of the line or you get no soup! What do you two think you're doing? You can't smoke. There's no smoking in family hour. I understood the line, everybody loves Raymond, because I was Robert. You take the good, you take the bad, you take them all, and there you have the facts of life. I used to be Gloria Loring, now I'm hashtag Robin Thicke's mom. <laughs> this show is about speaking with classic TV icons who were associated with programs that meant so much to so many people. Stanley Livingston, Gloria Loring, Kathy Coleman, Land of the Lost, Ron Dante, Sugar, Sugar, the Soup Nazi, yeah. the new Gidget, Gidget, Ed Spielman, creator of Kung Fu, Rodimus Pra, Young Grasshopper, DC Fontana, the legend, Palmerstown, USA, Six Million Dollar Man, Bionic Woman, Alien Nation, V, Incredible Hulk, and brought joy like Gidget or Bewitched and Hazel, Charlie's Angels. It was a, a special magic associated mm. with those shows, and I want to celebrate those programs, the stars, and the lives of those stars. You know, they told me the night before the audition, the character's called the Soup Nazi and they want a Middle Eastern accent. Middle Eastern accent was easy. I had Lawrence of Arabia on videotape, so I just listened to Omar Sharif and, you're drifting, Lawrence. Stop your drifting. <laughs> Be warned. No soup for you. Well, the show was called My Three Sons, so we were kind of in a pickle, and somehow they loved my brother and thought, well, let's make him the third son. We'll concoct a story where he's a, a foster child and the Douglas family adopts him. So if you miss those five episodes, you wouldn't know what the hell happened. <laughs> the people come up to me, and the ones who are kind of like, think they're the first person to ever ask me that, you know, it's like, hey, snatch the pillow from my hand. Well, the funny story about that is um, when we were shooting that, you know, Philip Bond was not a kung fu master. He was an actor and, and a nice man. Uh, but, you know, when we shot the scene, every time the pebble ended up in my hand, <laughs> and, uh, and then he would open his windows, oh, cut. I was 10 years old when All the Family came up. I didn't know half the stuff they were talking about, but I knew my parents were going to watch it, and they would let me watch it because they thought it was worthwhile. So this is a memory that's cherished in my head of time with them over TV. Your character on The Facts of Life was groundbreaking. I agree. I mean, it was the first time that a character with a visible disability on a, a regular basis. Kitty, you can't catch cerebral palsy. It's not a disease. Were you born with it? Yes, yeah, she was. Now, will you please stop bothering Jerry with all these questions? She's exhausted from the trip. No, I'm not. And questions don't hurt. Ignorance does. <laughs> That's the problem with the industry, is that so many people don't want to take that risk. Mm. And that's why it's so hard for people like me, who's different, can't get work as much because there aren't that many people that are willing to take those risks. You directed now Larry Hagman, yes. right on Dallas. Now here he was, Major Nelson yes. from I Jim and Jeannie, yes. doing a complete, you know, 360 degree turn yes. with this character as JR. What was that like? He was um, very supportive of me and knowing that I was the first black director there and so on. Da -da -da -da. And he, Call me into his dressing room one day. He says, We're going to get along really well as long as you remember one thing. I got to be out of here by three o'clock. <laughs> and every time I did it, he was out by three. <laughs> we got along real well. There you go. <laughs> Star Wars. Oh, that. <laughs> um, yeah. Well. When little R2 has been safely delivered to my forces, you'll receive your reward. You have my guarantee. I read it. You know, I. I remember reading it. I got a script for it because I, he was going to uh, audition me for um, Princess Leia. And I loved it. You know, I just thought it was wonderful. May the force be with I love that. May the force be with you. It's God be with you. It's like the Catholic Church to me. That's what it was like. There are doctors who became doctors 
because of Marcus Welby, lawyers who became attorneys because of Perry Mason, scientists who went on to, to study synthetic limbs because of the six million dollar man and the vine of woman. That's really too what we'll be addressing with this show. Some people have become paleontologists because of Land of the Lost. I, I was actually invited to JPL because two scientists that actually programmed the rover. We sing too. <laughs> Sugar. Oh, honey, honey. You are my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. Woohoo! Thank you, Rod. Got a little music. Never heard. Perfect. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Herbie? What? Hey, Herbie, let go to Thor. All right, I'll be right there. Herbie doesn't like to make toys. Wait, that's true, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Herbie! Herbie! I'm working. I thought I told you to get lost. All right, uh, okay. Herbie. Sorry. <laughs>